Hi guys! So today's video is kind of a refilm, no, not kind of, it is a refilm, <laughs> of my makeup collection and storage. I filmed one back in April, I do believe it was, and I really wasn't happy with it. The lighting was really bad so the camera had to struggle really hard, which meant that it came out just with really poor quality. So I wanted to refilm it and not a whole lot has changed, but there are some things that have changed. Obviously my collection has grown, so I just want to show you guys all of that. I don't know about you, but I love, love, love watching makeup collection and storage videos. I think that would have to be my favorite video to watch on YouTube. So if you would like to see how I store my makeup and um, what products I all actually have, then just keep watching. Okay, so this is my vanity, and I'm sorry if you can hear some random sounds in the background, but that's because I have the fan on and the windows open because it's going to be 39 degrees Celsius today, so that is pretty darn hot. <laughs> so, my first of all, my makeup vanity. Well, most of the stuff that I'm about to show you is from IKEA, as in furniture wise. Um, so my makeup vanity is from Ikea and it is the Hemnes dressing table, sorry if I got that wrong, and it was $379, which is a lot to pay, um, but I'm really particular with my vanity and it's the only one that I saw that was easily accessible for me to buy and um, relatively what I wanted. The chair and um, cushion cover is both from Ikea as well. It's the Ingolf chair which is $59 and then I'm not sure what chair cushion it is. I've had a look on the website and I can't find it so sorry about that but it's just a plain white chair cushion. Okay so on the right hand side of my vanity I keep uh, my brushes. These here, these vases here, they are also from Ikea. They're the rectangle, that's what they're actually called, <laughs> the rectangle vases. Um, so they're quite a decent size and I think they were only like $3.99 each and so I've got two of them there and then I've just filled them with a packet of like silver decorative beads that you put like in the bottom of vases and stuff from Ikea as well and I think they were only like $2.49 a packet and it was quite a large packet as well. Um, so yeah I keep my clean brushes up here so face brushes and eye brushes. Um, down here I have dirty brushes that need to be cleaned um, just sitting in um, one of the travel um, Sigma uh, brush thingies. <laughs> Great at explaining things, aren't I, guys? <laughs> um, my mirror here is just a Con Air mirror. Uh, nothing too fancy about that. You know, you just flip it around and it's the magnified side, you know, the drill. Um, actually, to the right here, I have my curlers, my hot rollers. Um, they're the Via Sassoon. Um, I think they're oh, ultimate, uh, ultimate salon hot rollers. I think they're called. I don't know. They were eighty dollars from Big W. If you're interested, um, and then I just keep the bag with all of the um, clips and such that go with it in there, and I just put it behind there. Some of you might know that I won a Sigma Affiliate competition with my 1920s inspired makeup tutorial and um, one of the things they sent with my prize was this great personalized little um, postcard sort of thing and they actually wrote on that and I thought that was a really lovely touch that Sigma actually goes to the effort of doing that so that's awesome, I love you Sigma. <laughs> Um, uh, I just have a few little, because my husband he likes sending me flowers, I mean, what girl doesn't like getting flowers? <laughs> but I just like to keep the little cards that he sends with them and stuff. Alright, over to the left, I just have a few miscellaneous things. So I just have an old candle here, which smells really pretty. Um, some birthday cards that I got earlier in the year on my birthday, which were really sweet. 
Uh, I was bridesmaid for my maid of honour, who got married in October. And this was one of her table favours, which I think is so adorable. It's in the shape of a uh, uh, wedding dress. Isn't it cute? And then they had on like little tuxedo guys as well. That was so adorable. And then this was um, my bouquet, which is obviously um, artificial flowers, but they look so gorgeous. I just like to keep it on display there. And so what this is here is what, when uh, Tim and I got married, this is what our um, pastor's wife kind of said at the wedding. It was so beautiful. I think it was my favorite part of the ceremony. And really special to me because she is like a mentor to me. So she gave me a copy of what she said, which I love. So I just keep it there on display so I can read it every now and then and just truly appreciate it. And then over here I have my um, skincare stuff. So in here I just keep a bag of um, like cotton tips and cotton buds and um, cotton pads and stuff that I use to with my toner and stuff. Then I have my day cream, the alternative intensive age treatment day cream, which I love. Um, and then the matching day eye cream. And then the proactive repair cream. I've talked about this stuff so many times. <laughs> Um, the little uh, container where I keep my contacts, my night cream, my night eye cream, I should say, and which is the Onya Clinical Eye Lift, which is super cool because you have two separate creams. I love it. So this one goes under your eye and this one goes on top and on your brow bone, which I really like that. And then we have um, the night cream, which is the Ageless Accolade Solutions Avon uh, night cream. Then I have just some eye drops, eye makeup remover, which this stuff is not good. It is <laughs> so, like it says there, gentle eye makeup remover. Well, holy moly, is it gentle or what? It does not get your eye makeup off. I do not recommend this at all. It is terrible. Um, and then I just have a travel size bottle of my contact solution and then glasses case with my glasses in it because I do wear glasses guys but I also you know wear my contacts so yeah that's that uh, down there I just keep my um, organics hydrating macadamia oil which I talked about in my 2012 favorites video which is awesome for dry uh, hair, particularly dry ends. And this is what I keep in my vanity, which has a drawer, kind of a concealed drawer, which is kind of cool. Um, be warned, I haven't really cleaned this up that much. That's kind of messy. Anyway. Um, so I have my two Coastal Scents um, palettes here. My Metal Mania palette and my 88 Original palette. And then just a brush roll, a Sigma brush roll sitting under there. In here I have lots of random stuff as you can tell, <laughs> just some double sided tape, a Sol Patterson um, mirror and brush thing, you know, one of those things, and then like a little fake camera thing, yeah, don't know about that. Um, and then I have some earplugs here, not because I'm a light sleeper, well I am a light sleeper, but every now and then we get these really annoying lorikeets out in a tree that's right outside our bedroom window. And um, at like 4 a.m. in the morning. I don't know if you know what lorikeets sound like, but they are so loud and annoying. So I have two earplugs sitting beside my, um, my side of the bed, so on my bedside table. So I can shove them in straight away when I start hearing them. <laughs> Um, this is just a tag to my local gym, um, just a rubber eraser, a pencil, some paper clips, a sharpener, a random notepad book, a clear phone case because I was going to do a make your own phone case thing like a couple months ago and I never got around to doing it. That's pretty bad, I know. <laughs> um, and then on the right I have hair. <laughs> no, I have a whole heap of brush brushes. So I have this thing which is awesome for when my hair is wet. 
um, then a tail tail comb, and then two other kinds of brushes, and then a big one for when I'm blow drying my hair, which I almost never blow dry my hair. And then this awesome mess here. This is what happens, ladies and gentlemen, when you do not have containers for your bobby pins, hair pins, and hair ties. This is what happens. Hmm, isn't that lovely? Oh, and this is my donut for my um my buns. But yeah, isn't that great? Actually, I I got most of these hair. No, actually, that's a lie. I got all of these hairpins. Um, when my hair got done when I was bridesmaid for my friend's wedding. So, I never use hairpins anymore because, oh, I used to use them all the time when I would dance because that was, you know, how you put up your bun using hairpins. But, um, nowadays I don't put my hair, well, I don't use hairpins when I put my hair in a bun, so I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But anyway, so that's just a whole awesome mess going on there. So this is what I keep all of my makeup in. Um, this is from Officeworks and it's the, um, I think it's 10 drawer, um, just trolley <laughs> unit. Um, it was $60. So up here I have um, a light from Ikea as well. And this light is called the, oh my gosh, K-N-U-B-B-I-G, light. I have no idea how to pronounce that. I really wish my Swedish friend Sophie was here. Sophie, if you're watching, can you please tell me how to pronounce that word? Because I have no idea. <laughs> but that's the light, and it was only $10. Um, the little bag that I have sitting here, this one here, um, that is from Target, and I love this bag. Basically, it's just your little, um, sorry, I'm blocking the light. Dude, how do I not block the light? I don't know. So, it's got your two pouches in here, which is really good for, um, face, and then eye makeup is how I break it up. Um, and it's got this super cute little design on the front. I think they're trying to like make a knockoff from like Tiffany and Co. Hence the color and the Trina and Co. <laughs> and the whole symbol and everything. But what the heck. I love it. It's cute. But that's just what I use to put my um, travel makeup in. It's a really good size. Fits a lot of stuff. Um, then I just have a box of tissues here. Uh, and then I have my cotton on body, cute, vintage inspired dressing gown, kimono, I don't know what you call it, but yeah, that thing there, I love it. 